Hey guys, I made lanterns for an abstract murmur decor. And together, they both make up a floor lamp. I am so excited about this decor and the way it turned out. And I'd like to share with you guys how I achieved this look. And now to start off the project, I got embroidery hoops from Walmart and wooden dowels. These are the specifications of the dowels and I'm going to be using this to make the stand. Here I'm just tying three of them together because it's so hard to get them together before gluing them so I'm going to be tying them with a rope and arranging it in the embroidery hoop just to make sure that they're equally spaced. Before I use a strong adhesive, I'm going to be using wood glue to have all the pieces glued together. This is an ornament ball that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's the large one. I removed the top part of it with a soldering iron and then the bottom part with an X-Acto knife. And then I cut out a board that's going to sit on top of it. And then I glued it together with an A6000 glue and spray painted it gold. I also glued the upper part of the stand and then I left it overnight to dry. And I spray painted it navy blue. To fill up the ornament ball, I got pieces of a styrofoam ball and then some little rocks and I filled it in and I'm going to be using golden beads around the edges and then I used hot glue to keep the pieces together and to also make sure that when it's turned this way, none of it is going to fall. And now I'm going to be applying a generous amount of my E6000 glue inside and around the edges. I put the stand inside and then I added more rocks and then added more beads around the edges. And then I used a lot of E6000 glue around and I had a support at the back just to keep it in place and left it overnight to dry. I made two of the stands and I used one of it for a regular floor lamp and then one for a mermaid lamp. The other floor lamp is going to be uploaded on my channel soon. I got this styrofoam sheet from Hobby Lobby and I also got this mermaid wooden plaque from there too. And I got it for $3.99. I was so excited about it and I wanted more but this was the last one. That's why I had to trace it out on a styrofoam sheet. And then after tracing it on one side, I'm going to be tracing it on again, giving me two. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. It was really hard getting straight edges, but I went ahead and just hoped that at the end of the day it was going to come out okay. So I glued all three together with a wooden plaque in the middle. And this is what it looks like. I got styrofoam circles that I'm going to be using as my base for the mermaid. I traced out the shape that I needed and then I carved it out. I did this so that the mermaid can be snug inside the hole. I added a generous amount of my strong adhesive and I'm using an E6000 glue. And I put the mermaid there and I put the second plaque at the back for proper balancing. I then went ahead and started covering the mermaid with acrylic gold paint. It is not safe to use spray paint because it's going to melt the styrofoam. So it is much safer to use a regular acrylic paint. And then I used a small paintbrush to cover the parts where my foam brush cannot reach. I got this sequence trim from Hobby Lobby, but something similar is sold at Walmart also. I will be using it to wrap it around the mermaid from the waist downward. Now I'm using a tiny pin to hold it in place and then wrapping it round till I get to the bottom.
I'm done with the tail. Now I'm going to be making marks for the fin. I got a pack of seashells sold at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using the two smallest sizes that are inside. And then I'm going to be trimming off these extensions here. And I'm also going to be making them a lot smaller. I spray painted them gold and I will use them to cover up the upper area for the mermaid. You can use a cup hook if you like, depending on what she's going to hold, but I'm going to go with a screw nail. After screwing the nail to the wood, I went round again with an E6000 glue for added security. Once in a while, I may switch up whatever it is that the mermaid is going to be holding and in case it's heavy, I took the stand and opened it up at the bottom part to give me more room to add more weight to the base. So I took a lid from a container and I'm placing it in the middle and then I'm going to be using nails to attach the lid to the woods. I'll be using this weight inside and it's 25 pounds. It's a lot, but it's better so that the stand is sturdy and doesn't move around. I'm going around with an E6000 glue to the point where the nail is together with the lid. The part of the hoop that's open is going to be closed with a blue gem. And this gem comes in the pack that I got from the Dollar Tree. And now to make it more uniform, I'm going to be adding gems to the other sides. I cut a round foam board and then I painted it with navy blue acrylic paint. And that's what I'm going to be using for the top. To secure the mermaid properly to the base, I'm going to be using two nails on both sides. And I'm also going to be adding a generous amount of E6000 glue. And I'll place the mermaid on top, making sure that it's well and properly balanced. And then I'm using a screwdriver here, only because the bottom part is hard, so the nail has to go through. The white part of the styrofoam circle is going to be covered with golden washi tape. And I use golden beads to outline the fin. Moving on to the lantern. I'm using chopping mats from the Dollar Tree and I'm using just one, folding it into two and then cutting it because I'm going to be using one half for one lantern and the other half for the other lantern. I'm going to roll it like this and secure it with staple pins. And glue the middle part with hot glue and a little bit of E6000 glue. This is a trim of Frank off for me and now I'm going to be putting it to good use. I will use it at the top and at the bottom of the lanterns. I love the way it looks. Now I cut two round boards and the second board has a hole in the middle that I made for lighting. And I'm using paper lantern and removed the lighting that's inside. And this is how I'm going to be gluing the board to the battery pack for the lighting. And I will cover up the rough edges in the middle with gold beads. I'm doing it this way to easily turn it on and off and to easily change the batteries. The board fits inside in a snug way which is good. And the light comes on and super bright. So I turn it to the back and I'm applying hot glue to keep them all in place. This is the second board and I will be suspending my lantern with garland beads. So I made two holes to make it easy for me to pass the garland beads inside. Now that that is done, I will be covering up the rough holes with singular beads. For a firm hold, I will be using E6000 glue and a hot glue gun to attach the board to the lantern at the top. I made two of them and they're so pretty. 
I hang them on the mermaid. And then I cut some beads to cover up the nail head. This is an abstract mermaid, so I left the hair and the face bare. But if you're gonna make yours, you can definitely add your own twist to it. The light shines so bright at night, and I'm loving the artistic view of the overall design. Like I said earlier in the video, the other lamp that I made with the second stand is going to be uploaded soon. Let me know what you think about this artistic mermaid floor lamp in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.